Hey guys, I'm Tom Roy, and I've been skating for over 20 years. I'm here to give you all the details that you need to know to learn tricks as fast and efficiently as possible. And of course, make it fun in the process. Every trick has that one tip that you should never forget. Once you know what that is, it's in the bag. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back. As some of you may know, I recently fractured a bone in my ankle, unfortunately. So what better time than this to film a video with tips that you can apply to every single skateboarding trick. So for the first tip I wanna share is the placement of the back foot. For most skateboarding tricks, you're gonna to wanna to put your back toe in the center of your tail. Now this of course doesn't apply to tricks like tray flips or frontside shove where your feet are in different places. But for most tricks, you want it right here in the center because that's where you're gonna get the most pop and where your balance is gonna be the best. Also, whatever way you shift your foot this way makes a difference. If you have it back here, you won't get quite as much pop. If you go in too much, you'll get less pop. So it's all about finding that sweet spot. So now for tip two. This tip is all about your toes. So before you do any skateboarding trick, you wanna stand up on your toes. Like put all your weight on your toes, don't keep your feet flat. Now some tricks, this is actually different. If you're doing a pop shove it, like I've explained in my past tutorials, you want your back foot to be flat, but you're up on your front toes a little bit more. And also a front side shove it, so your front foot is more flat. But in general, to remember this, for most tricks, you wanna be up on your toes, so you're putting as much weight on these two toes as you can before you do any trick. And for tip three, as you're rolling up to any skateboarding trick, you're gonna to wanna to bend down as far as you can. Don't be up like this. Make sure you're putting all your weight down on your toes before you pop. Tip number four. This one's all about your shoulders before you pop a trick. So make sure your shoulders never turn before you do a trick, unless of course you're doing a 180 trick. But any tricks where you're going straight, keep them square and parallel to your board. Tip five is a good one. A lot of the time when you're setting up for a trick, especially a flip trick, you just want to jump into the position right before you pop but what that does is throws off your balance and you need balance before you pop so whenever you're setting up for any flip trick instead of like popping into the position quickly see how i'm already wobbly like that shift your feet you can kind of get it in the general area like say i'm rolling up like this normal stance and i kind of shift notice how i start shifting like this to do a tri flip you slowly ease your way into the foot position and your balance will be on point now for tip number six. I briefly mentioned this, but for every trick, it's so important to be relaxed before you pop. And a good way of doing that is to breathe and just kind of slow yourself down as you're rolling up to a trick. It has helped me so many times. I've landed so many tricks because I remembered to relax. So if you're in the middle of battling a trick, remember, just relax. Number seven. This one is all about 180 tricks. You have to have your pop down pretty good for this tip to apply. But for most 180 tricks, a really good tip to hang on to is to only think about turning 90 degrees. Because if you're only focused on turning 90, especially if you're doing a trick like a half cab kickflip or front side flip, you'll catch it at 90 degrees and your body will almost always just turn the rest of the way naturally. So only think of turning halfway and your body will do the rest for you. Tip number eight. This one's all about manuals and nose manuals. A really good tip to hang on to when you're learning manuals is to not look straight down, but look ahead of you. It's going to help your balance be a lot better. So when you're doing a manual trick, look just a little bit ahead of you and you'll be able to hold that manual a lot longer. Number nine, this is a real personal tip for me and it might not apply to everybody, but there's a chance that it can apply to you. When I was younger, when I went through puberty at like age 15, I grew a lot, like six inches. Years of my life, I could not kickflip. But finally, I realized I did not have to flick so hard because when I was younger, my legs were shorter. I was flicking as hard as I possibly could and it really helped me one day to just flick a little bit lighter. So if you're having that problem, you're flicking too hard on your kickflips or they're rocketing on you, and maybe your legs have grown a little bit, try just flicking a little bit lighter. Last but not least, tip number 10. This one's all about ollieing down stair sets. This is for once you're a little bit more of an advanced skateboarder. I had this problem where I used to ollie too high when I would skate down sets. I used to pop as hard as I could ollieing down like an eight or a 10 stair, and I would get so much pop that it would add like five stairs onto it. So when you're ollieing down stairs, you really don't have to pop that hard. You can just kind of go, it'll send you right down those stairs. That's all I got for you guys. I really hope these tips help you guys. Please let me know in the comments if they do. Also, share some of your own. Any tips that you've learned over the years that have really helped you with your skateboard. Have a great week.